How did it all start? There's a great question. It was in the face of the collapse of the banking system in 2008 that the blockchain originated. The all-powerful, unshakable banking system was now brought to its knees. A seemingly unshakable system, on its knees, begging for a way out. Through the Emergency Economic Stabilization Act of 2008, bail was granted by the U.S. government. 700 billion U.S. dollars were spent on purchasing distressed assets and providing liquid cash reserves to rescue the ailing U.S. banking system. Well, it might have been bailed out by the government, but not by us. From us, from the ones like you and me, who see the truth from the lies, the banking system received a vote of no confidence. Now we don't have time for lengthy explanations. Suffice to say this, the trust of the people in the bank was shaken and destroyed. If such a huge icon of stability and trust could be uprooted, then what could, in fact, be trusted? In a quiet and secret place, while all this trouble was going down, Satoshi Nakamoto's brain solved the puzzle of trust in the banking system when he originated the very first blockchain. Yes, blockchain. Satoshi, who is really an anonymous person or group of people, devised a technology that took the power out of the hands of the banks, effectively decentralizing the flow of money from person to person, from company to company, and even from country to country. He called it Bitcoin. Bitcoin was started in 2009 and is the world's first cryptocurrency, a digital currency that enables instant, secure, and efficient monetary exchange between peers, regardless of their geographic location, or the bank that they use, or the native currency that they use on a daily basis. Bitcoin was built on blockchain, and blockchain technology was built as the platform for Bitcoin. Why? Because blockchain technology is 100% transparent. It is also governed by a set of principles, not people. That means that people who trade Bitcoin do not actually need to trust each other. They trust the blockchain. Why? Because it is monitored by a diverse number of unrelated users on a continuous basis. Satoshi's blockchain has now become everyone's blockchain, and that is the beauty of it. It is open source, which means it is transparent, fully authenticated, and altogether auditable by anyone who uses it. Miners, who are all given administrator status on the blockchain network, act as nodes on the network who receive raw data generated when a transaction takes place on the Bitcoin blockchain. This data is referred to as a hash and it reflects on the Bitcoin ledger and miners compete with each other to verify the transaction by applying various algorithms. The first miner to validate and verify a transaction is paid in Bitcoin. One thing to bear in mind is that one Bitcoin is currently worth around five and a half thousand US dollars. Traditional currencies work in holes, dollars, and fractions, cents. Cryptocurrencies work in decimals. So, a pair of sneakers might cost 0.1 BTCS, Bitcoins, or an automobile might cost four BTCS. Whether 0.1 or 0.7, Bitcoin has value. Holding 0.8 Bitcoin means you own an equivalent of around four and a half thousand dollars. You might find it interesting to note that Bitcoin is now the currency of choice for millions of people around the world. Tried, proven, and here to stay. Because of blockchain technology, Bitcoin works. Because Bitcoin, now a tradable digital currency, has grown at a rapid pace, blockchain technology is here to stay. No more bank transfers. No more SWIFT codes for international payments. No more endlessly waiting for payments to clear. No need to buy Forex to make global payments. Welcome to the age of blockchain technology. It's only the very beginning.